This is section 3.1, Derivatives of Polynomials and Exponential Functions. Our second content objective is to find the derivative of functions involving the natural exponential function. When we're done, you should be able to describe the steps you would follow in order to find the equation of a tangent line to a given curve when you only know a point on the line that is not the point of tangency. So first we're going to connect to our old knowledge. Let's let f of x equal e to the x. Well, if f of x equals e to the x and we want a shortcut for its derivative, we're going to have to backtrack to the definition of the derivative, which is f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. If I now factor out that e to the x, I'll be left with an e to the x which has no h's in it, so it's independent of the limit, times the limit as h approaches 0 of an e to the h minus 1 over h. Now this particular limit you should have seen before on your 2-7 group work, that second problem. So this right here, you can look at it on your calculator, you can look at your 2-7 notes, or you can look at the table of data and tracing close to 0 on both sides on your calculator that we have below in our notes. Either way, we're going to end up realizing that this is the slope of that e to the x as it crosses the y-axis. So it is the derivative of the curve e to the x at 0. So we'll get an e to the x times whatever that derivative at 0 is. You can remember from your 2-7 group work, or you can scroll down here to see the table of data that this limit is going to equal 1. So that means the derivative of that e to the x is going to equal e to the x times 1, or just e to the x. So what this means is that we now have a very nice simple tool to take derivatives of things involving e to the x's. We can see this tool in action with example 1. We want to find the derivatives of this function. And notice that we're going to apply some of those easy derivative rules that are real intuitive where we can add, subtract, and multiply by a constant. So on this first one, if I want to take the derivative, I get f prime of x equals e to the x minus 5. Notice that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. It stays exactly the same. So if I take the derivative of this one, I will move through the constant 5 and I'll hit the e to the x whose derivative is just the same thing as it started to, out to be, minus the 2x. And with our third example, We'll move through the constant in front and hit the e to the x, and it will stay the same. With example 2, the question is, at what points on this curve is the tangent line going to be parallel to this line? So what we need to remember is that when curves are parallel to lines, is the same time when the tangent slopes are the same as the line slopes. Remember, parallel means the slopes are the same. So that means we need y prime, which is e to the x, to be the same as the slope of this line. So we can read the slope off if we get the line in slope-intercept form and see that that slope is 2. And the goal is to solve for x. So to get x out of that exponent, we have to get it down by logging both sides. So if I ln both sides, that x will come in front, and I'll get x equals the ln of 2. The question is, what are the points on the curve? So that means I need to plug ln of 2 into the function to see what comes out. e to the ln of 2 is a 2 plus a 3 will give us an ln of 2 comma 5. With example 3 now, we want to write the equation of the line that is tangent to this f of x equals e to the x that also passes through the point 0, negative 1. So here's my favorite problem type coming back to haunt us. Notice that this point that the tangent line is crossing through is not on the curve itself, so it's not the point of tangency. So our goal is to figure out what that point is. To do that, we're going to write the general point, which will be a comma f of a, and then we're going to write the general slope that goes with that point, which will be the derivative of this at a. 
So if I take the derivative of that, it stays the same, and then I need to evaluate at the point, so I'll get e to the a. Now I've got a slope, I've got a point, I can write the equation of the line. The line will be the slope times x minus the x-coordinate plus the y-coordinate. So how do I get the equation of the line that passes through this point? Well, I know that that point, when plugged in, will make a true statement. So I can replace y with a negative 1, and I can replace x with a 0. When I do that, I'll get a negative 1 equals an e to the a times a negative a plus 1. And I guess we need to solve for a. So on our calculators now, we will solve for when negative 1 equals e to the a times a negative a plus 1. We'll solve with respect to a, and we will get that a equals 1.278. And we can see that on the calculator, that we have solved for when negative 1 equals e to the a times a negative a plus 1 with respect to a. Now the goal is to get the point on the curve. So we've got the x-coordinate, we still need the y-coordinate. So that means I need e to the a power evaluated when a equals this number that we just found. So if I hit enter, my y-coordinate will be a 3.591. And we're done.